Hello everyone, this is Steaming Tofu, and I am back with another episode of Children of Noor. I know you guys have been waiting for this for a long time, which is probably about 12 hours. Anyways, on the last episode of Children of Noor, I have obtained a new baby daddy for myself, and his name is... Suzukaze. And as you can probably tell, I... Went ahead and got him a copycat because he's a ninja. And from a street pass. Because I am not going to be leveling up until he gets a copycat. Also for Aqua, I got her an aptitude. I was originally planning on giving passing down a bow breaker for maybe maybe Siegel, but I went like, eh, whatever. And I found an aptitude, so I just gave it to her. Alright, haha, <laughs> can you see how cheap I'm getting here? Also, yeah, as you guys can see, I am going to be marrying Suzukaze off to Aqua in order to get two children at once. Again, I'm uh, making a pose here that you guys can't see because I am not on camera. Ah, so it's Aqua who wants to talk about marriage to Suzukaze this time? Or, yeah, she is the forward one. Come on, Suzukaze, be a bigger man. Stop feeling so sorry about yourself, about your brother getting his face messed up and your dad dying because you are not a good enough shinobi a long time ago. I mean, no one cares about that. No one even remembers. Don't worry, man. I do, but you don't have to. Anyways, yeah, that's kind of the backstory that Suzukaze had, has from what I read up on. Hopefully it wasn't much of a spoiler for you guys, but I mean... You know, Suzukase feels bad about stuff and, oh, I guess seeing as how they are blushing their faces, uh, they already said about, hey, let's get married. So what about doing, I mean, doing something, Suzukase willing to do something for Mikoto's sake as well, or Mikoto's amount? I have no idea. Anyways, I guess I now have two more children. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did a trial run of the Midoriko mission and it was easy. This is the trial run and this is the, you know, the current one. So you can see the 50 minute difference in there. Alright, let's go get Midoriko. The point is, point of what I'm saying, trying to say is that if this run doesn't go as well as the my trial run, I am probably gonna be continuing with my trial run when it's over. One, two, one, two! Ah, Midoriko with blue hair. Interesting. Ah, oh, man. These little girl, like the really children looking ch children, they really love their parents. Or especially fathers because mothers, I mean, who cares about them, right? No one really cares about who the mother is. Oh, it's a kid. Well, I mean, Midoriko, she's like, I'm not a kid, I am called Midoriko. You still are kind of a kid, Midoriko? Oh, whoa! Bandit, bro, whoa! Dude, uncool saying stuff like, you are a bad girl, why don't I punish you? <laughs> Dude, not cool. Let's not be a pedophile here. And it doesn't help that Kamui has a choice of, or he can marry Midoriko, which, you know, um, seeing as how she, Midoriko is the youngest one of the children, along with Kana, it's, uh, really, really puts things in a weird position. As, I feel like it's as bad as marrying Elise, which... Good lord, I told you guys already, but that was... Did I tell you guys? I don't think so. So, a uh, long time ago, or not really long time ago, while I was preparing for the Children of Noor beginning of it, I was just, you know, supporting everyone with Kamui to see or find the correct mother, or the perfect mother for Kana. Oh, look, it's Doraj. Dredge? Hmm. Chunky Thief. Adventurer. Chunky Adventurer. <laughs> I gotta say, I was kind of surprised to, to, to see that she was... Dredge was the one 
who showed off or was shown in the demo of the job classes in the game. So the story here is that Dredge stole this insane medicine from Midoriko and the point of the mission is to catch her before she gets away. Apparently, even if she does get away, it's not a game over, but you don't get to pick up the awesome item that she is carrying or currently stealing. Also, let me just go back to the story of me marrying Camille, uh, not Camila, marrying, what do you call it, Elise. The bottom, bottom line is that it was, it just felt wrong, wow, like, I, I have never felt so wrong about marrying a character in video game. It, I mean, it's not that I didn't love Elise, I mean, who doesn't love Elise? She is the bestest of all drill motos, but holy hell things that, like, that marrying Elise made it, made everything really awkward. Whew! Whoops. Alright, so this is how I am going to be doing stuff. I will be sending Ophelia and Lutz right over the gate right here to cut these guys off, because the point of the game is, or the mission is, to kill her. Basically, that's it. If I kill Dredge, it's over, I think. Yeah, it's to kill the boss of the map, which will, which is this one. So, and the reason I'm sending Ophelia here is because these are knights and they are weak against magic. As you can see, they only have four magic defense, or resistance in the, in a uh, formal term. And the other guys can, yeah, it's just because you can just pair up with Kamui. These guys actually have a really important job, which is keeping Dredge from running away. As you can see, she has a bow, and it doesn't have the 1-2 to two range, like bows should have, unlike Setsuna and Ka... not Ka... Takumi, which is just weird. So yeah, when she runs into a corner, Kamui and Tsukaze will surround her, and she will not be able to move, and that will give me time to kill everyone in the map, because I want the XP. Alright, enough jibber-jabber, let's go. Alright, so let me just go ahead and on all these things. Sorry that I didn't do it off the or off screen. I should have done that. Let's see, let's equip my Yatokana, make a clone. You can jump over here. Uh, let's stand how far can they attack? Yeah, it's a, actually a good spot. Let's let Ophelia do her thing with her magics! Let's... Oh! Huh. I thought I was going to double, but alright, I guess he died in one hit. That's... better. Surprising, I thought he was going to be a little tankier than that. Well, whatever. Alright, so I don't really need Ka to be attacking right now. She is strong as it is. I have Midoriko right now here with a... Pretty awesome looking bow, man. Look at that. Yeah, it's nine damage. I'm sure. I'm assuming it's the Hoshiro Iron Bow, I think, or yeah. And it has plus two to magic resistance. Re magic resistance, which is pretty damn amazing. So let's go over here. Let's try to kill this guy off, and I can't. Huh? What about that guy over there? There we go. So. Whichever clone attacks with Midoriko, it's going to be fine. Let's take him out. Ah, the adorable merchant. Hiya! Good damage, Midoriko. Woo! She looks so happy. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, and obviously send a pony over here to just rock this guy's face off because it's a pony. Here we go. If you can Astra, that would also be great. I mean, again, you obviously you don't have to. Yep, we are, again, the Righteous Ones, so we don't have to worry about Jack. And these guys are clearly going to get massacred by Sophie. Let's move these guys over here, because they really do need to move along with the other teams here. Oh look, this guy is trying to hurt Ophelia, and she is going to get hit. Well, it can't be helped. Doesn't matter anyway. 
Woohoo! Way to go, Ophelia. I mean, there's a fort right there, so there's really... I don't need to worry about her getting hit once. Double clone attack! Ah! Dick. Get some! And then some more! Huh. I guess Sophie is falling behind on her rip your clothes off things here. It's odd seeing her not rip this guy's clothes off. How dare you? Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, if we if she didn't crit, she was not going to be able to kill this guy. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, that was a wyvern lord, dragon lord, dragon master. Well, whoever it was. All right, so with all these guys getting ready right over here, let's send Kamui, who can actually make it over here, to do the Dragon Vein. Ah, I see that Sophie is kind of a bit on the low end of the health side here, but it should not matter too much because I have my daughter. She... hmm, I wonder if she should be attacking. Well, I guess why not? I mean, I it's really not going to be giving me any EXP, that's the big problem here. Ah, I should have let Kana actually open that up. Maybe a pony can... Well, she's going to be fine. Except for the whole... Dredge sitting right there. Let's see... Is it going to be worth it to kill someone like this? 11 damage. Hmm. I mean, I don't think Dredge is going to be attacking anyone because she is just too damn busy running away. Alright, before anything else happens, let's just sit over here to heal her up. And... I guess I have no choice but to send... Actually, no, you know what? I will use a pony. I think I'm going to be okay. And use my violin bow. Hell, it, maybe a pony will even prop a Oscar over here. No. That's too bad. No damage and dodge it! Damn it. I guess I couldn't wish for a miracle. Tozen you! But of course, is what she said. And, alright, boost to people's skills. It's always nice, nice to see that. Let's see, no point of attacking Dredge. She, I really, like, there really is no reason to. Let's give some more kills to Midoriko here. Ah, really? That is... Unfortunate. Well, alright. I guess I can just give the kill... Get the kill from this guy. I believe in you. And... Whoop! Yeah! Yato Kana for the win. All oh, right. I guess I could have tried to change the change Kana's weapon and then try it again. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's charge in here and kill them with a. Hmm. Actually, I could change the weapon later on. So let's go with that. Kill a sword. A bit pointless, but why not? I mean, yeah, I talk about, I should, I, like, killing these guys won't give Kana any EXP, and then I right away use Sophie to kill them? Oh. I thought she was not going to be getting any EXP, but I guess she does? Huh. That's good news. These guys will be throwing axes in my face, so let's try not to be carrying those around. Let's equip a Dragonstone for safety. And Sophie here. And shank people with your Nor sword. Alright. More defense. Good times, good times. Hiya! Man, the these horses really know how to jump. Oh. Wait, did I what? How did I oh, okay? Oh no, these guys are attacking Sophie, who is in so much danger. Yeah! Get the hell out, fools. Alright, that'll help her in increasing her ways of the sword. And if these guys can stop attacking Sophie, that'd be great, but of course they won't listen to me. 
Because reasons? Ow. Alright, so if I cannot find a corner to shove Dredge into, then I will just have be have to using I will just be have to be using a Sophie as a fourth and third person to be surrounding her. Which it kinda feels like I have to. Alright, no, she's going to be running into the corner right there, so. Let's get over here, use your Volneri for safekeeping, or for safety. This guy, I guess I will be sending... Hmm... Well, for, first of all, I... Huh. Alright, I'll just send one Kana to take care of that one guy. Don't need to be sending a whole troop for that fool one guy. Okay, Kana, get over here. Midoriko, a pony, create yourself a clone. Yeah, she, uh, Dredge is going to be too busy, to, too busy running for her life to really care about what I do. Oh no, it's a dude! What shall I ever do but so destroying him? I was almost going to say Sona for some reason. Oh. I mean, I meant to use Kana destroying him is what I meant to say. Like, yeah, the moment I said that, I was like, wait, not, not Sona, uh, gotta think of a word that goes with so, that would fit in the situation. <laughs> Alright, so this is what, what I do, and Dredge cannot move anymore, and now I'm free to just go around killing everyone. And on the next turn, if I can make it, I will let Suzukaze and Kamui take over the place of that. Alright, she needs to work on her sword skills. Ato Kana, go! This... The Iron Sword of Norside, the one that I'm using on Kana right now, kind of looks like a gigantic kunai, or a really stretched kunai. Don't you guys think so? Look at that. It's not much of a sword. It doesn't have a hilt. you think that it that would make it a little dangerous for people to use. Anyways, I'm going to be going through this way, and... Hey, free money! Right, I forgot about that. Oh, I probably should have separated these two then. Well, alright, Apony is going to get some free heals from that. Alright, Midoriko also has a copycat, doesn't she? Right, right, use that. <laughs> yeah, look at all these archers! <laughs> Who says Northside does not have archers? Because we all do. Okay, so it's safe to exchange these peoples out. Good job, Suzukaze and Kamui, having some jobs to do here. Nice. Alright, so these guys are... Uh, Eponin can make a quick dish out of these fools, so... I am gonna be putting her over here. Putting a Ophelia over here. I think she can... yeah, separate these guys. And I will just let Midoriko trigger the Dragon Vein this time, because... Well, I mean... Not much, not much else that you can do here. Where are they going? Well, whatever. Okay, pop it up. Yeah, good thing that I actually tried the stage beforehand. I was really going to be sad or shocked if my strategy didn't work the first time. But it does, and it's all good. Hmm, I could go ahead and risk a hit from that axe. Well, my plan was to just kill this mage with Ophelia, because she can. And then just send a pony right away to kill the other mage, because I'm assuming she can also can. She can also can, she also can. More money! Yep. But what about these guys? Can they make it all the way over here? Not really. So, I should be okay. That is enough to kill, but let's be safe about it, shall we? Let's put it like that. Get help from yourself, because why the hell not? Alright, Astra! And, wow, Ophelia said, Hmm, this child might be good, like, in a way that... She is going to be using that Dark Mage as a her uh, Yaoi fan thing. Hey, not a bad setup. 
but unfortunately you didn't get a strength up. She really needs that. Oh wait, no, actually I can just start using my... What do you call it? The uh, magic... Magic... Uh, the magic thing. I, I keep forgetting the name. Um, The magic bow. God damn it! <laughs> it was called... Uh, I really can't remember. Hmm. Well, I'm sure that I don't need to remember the name right now because it's not necessary. All right, so end the turn. Oh no, these guys! This guy is going to attack my uh, opponent. Ouch! Oh boy, that's surprising. Midoriko is here with you. That's cute. All oh, right, these guys. Can these guys. By that, I mean Kana and Midoriko can actually be friends. They can be best buddies. That's good because so far. All the other female children would refuse to be Kana's friends. I guess it's because she is too terrifying for them. I mean, she is one powerful daughter of mine. So it's not too crazy to think that they are afraid of Kana and how godly she is. Okay, let's keep tabs on this Dragon Knight. Keep tabs on these on this Dragon Knight. God, I... <sighs> I am just... I don't know why I can't speak or enunciate clearly. I think I am not a good speaker, unfortunately. All right, use your daddy's axe to kill this axe guy. Yeah, vent out your father issues on this guy, dude. Go Lutz. Wait, why is Kana critting? Don't tell me Kana also has daddy issues. No, Kana, but I love you. If it's about leaving you in the scary my castle place for your entire life, then I'm sorry, but it was for your own good, and that's clearly not going to be enough to make her be happy, or... I don't know, I have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be... I, I'll just shut up. I'm not going anywhere with my... What the hell ever I'm saying here. I should just uh, try to be safe and use another... One of those. Can't really move anywhere. It's gonna be fine though. Alright. Come hither! Ooh, you using your friend to chuck an axe at me? Woo! Yeah, sucking nerds. Kana ain't gonna take any of your shit. Alright, Kana, you don't have to kill him right away. You can let. There we go. You can let Midoriko take a shot at him too. A very, very beautiful friendship. Hey, reinforcements! That's why I kind of left these guys over here. It was totally planned. Definitely. So... Yeah, I'm going to kill these guys with Kana as well, because she can use some EXP. Like, she is pretty close to becoming a... Huh! That's cool. I didn't know merchants were really good at giving strength bonuses to the pair-up. Anyways, Kana is pretty good at... I'm uh, pretty close to evolving into a Dark Blood. As much as I love her adorable scarf and her skirt and whatnot, if she wants to be the leader of the whole Nor team that goes against Garen and what the hell ever, she is gonna need some more help. Alright, that guy has a drawing axe. <laughs> so let's give Kana the kills. Yes, sir. Kana, don't give no shits. Don't give no two manures about your berserker critting nonsense. Because it's Kana, and here we go. Kana punches, stabs, and dragon blasts. That stupid berserker to holy hell. Hell yeah! Level up. Come on, Kana, come on. Oh yeah! Five important stats up. Fantastic. Fan tuckantastic. That's why I have my daughter. That's why she is the daughter, guys. Why she is the daughter. And you know what, let's go ahead, go get him, man. Go get him. You got this. You got this. Use your daddy shoe axe. Here we go. So effing excited to see Kana as a dark blood. Well, alright, there we go. Alright, let's. It's all you, man. You got attitude. Ah, dude, dude. Oh. Well. I have no words for you, man. <laughs> I mean, you got strength and defense up, which is important in its own right, so... 
you know what, I will not... I mean, I, I'm gonna let it slide. And it mainly has to do with the fact that I really don't care too much for... Harold. I mean, let's... That's also a thing. Okay, let's send... Ophelia over here. Maybe she'll be able to do enough extra damage to kill him off. Yes, she can! Man, Ophelia! Her magic is just off the charts with 22 right now, I think. All thanks to my incessant resetting until she gets a magic up, or she got a magic up. Yay, Midoriko is happy! So this side, they're gonna be charging me with the axe dude and a bow dude, so let's just use Sophie as a meat shield. So that she won't kill anyone, but she won't be dying either. Okay, it's all good. Bring it on, punks! Zero damage and 46% chance of hitting. Sounds good to me. Hell yeah, Sophie! That's why you're my wife. If you guys think that I'm being a little too overexcited, then please, you know, tell me about it. In the comments section, please. So that I can, you know, tone it down a little. If it's getting a little too annoying for you guys. Ah, <sighs> these are the these are some sad days, guys, where the children start coming in at level 11s and not level 10s. That's a one whole level of me not being able to take advantage of aptitude. Not that I will have aptitude for everyone, of course. <laughs> right, guys? Right? <laughs> yeah, totally. Anyways, she clearly needs some help. Actually, so does Lutz. I guess I should try to focus on Lutz, too. I... Eh, Midoriko is the lowest one here, so I will give her the kills. And she will be fine even if she gets hit. Yoshi! Here we go! Use your merchant- What the f- Are you serious? Holy shit! Okay, Midoriko, wow. Is it like a rite of passage thing where all of my new children have to miss like a 90% first? Like Ophelia? That was insane! Midoriko, it's a good thing that you got a really good stat up, otherwise I would I would have been crossed with you. Holy crap, man. Alright, let's take care of him. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not really sure how I should be taking that. Suzukaze and Aqua, your daughter, hmm, she seems to be blind, or I have no idea. I mean, she's a merchant, so I guess I can't expect her to be the best kind of killer, or what the hell ever you want to call him. Anyways, let's use the violin. Hope that she doesn't miss this time, because if she misses, then I am not going to be able to kill this guy. There we go. Alright, I'm, I'm all cooled down. I'm all calm. I feel a little, like, an extra bit of hyper today. Not really sure why. Hmm. Well, whatever. Let's send Kana over, because I do want to get her to level 20 on this run, if I can. So, let's try to be safe, and that is the clone. Oh. Well, I guess I could pair her up with the clone of Sophie. That'll be good. And that's going to be about it. Oh, right, I opened up. I could have just opened this up, right. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. They are all easy anyway. And here they come with their stupid axes. And now they will die. I'm sorry, Berserkers. You guys don't stand a chance. Hmm, maybe I should think about... Oh, wow. Maybe I should think about a topic to discuss in... Beforehand, before I start, you know, the videos up. I mean, me saying, oh my god, look at how adorable my daughter is, can only be so fun, you know, for a while. I mean, if I just keep continuing with the same repertoire, repertoire over and over again, I am sure that you guys will get bored. Let's see who else might be cute in the world of Fire Emblem then. Midoriko is cute, I have to admit, but I don't know, she doesn't really click with me too well here, for some reason. Ah, uh, well, me, uh, Kana, I mean, that is a kind of a poor level up, but I, I am just going to go ahead and expect that you're almost capped out. And 
you're at level about, you know, about to level up and ascend, or rather, uh, what's the term? Promote, so I'm not going to bank on you or har be harsh on you too much. So, other cute characters. I heard someone saying Lutz is a cute masked character. I suppose, but... I don't know, I'm not really too into little boys. They are... Like, if they are really tiny children, they are adorable to look at, but... If they do stuff like what he did to Harold, I'm not really sure. Saying Harold is the villain guy and telling on the guards. He basically went all boy who cried the pedophile on, you know, the guards. And that did not end too well for me. I mean, it also has the fact that the Lutz stage was not the easiest one for me. Mainly because of how annoying the stage gimmick was. Like, I was trying to turn as ma as many soldiers into gold as possible, and that was... You know, that didn't help. That did not help. I got a lot of gold out of it. I think I got about 6,000 gold, I think? But... That did not make up for the fact that I had to... Oh my god, that's a mistake. Um, What the hell is this axe guy doing here? I am pretty sure he won't be dying. Alright, let's just bolt for the side fast because actually how far ah these guys are kind of far away all right i'm gonna have to hope that suzukaze i i am sure that they're gonna be going for suzukaze i'm gonna have to hope that he dodges like let me see two swings i guess one two three four five six one two. yeah it's gonna take two turns because if this guy doesn't move then what the hell is he gonna do Oh boy. Well, alright, let's just uh, calm myself and... Oh, right, Tsukasa can also copycat, but that doesn't really do anything for him, so there's no point of mentioning that. Okay, let's bring everyone over. Let's just, you know, let my daughter take care of everything. A couple of mages. Hmm. Alright, let's equip the Dragonstone so she doesn't take any damage. Yeah, that was a miscalculation on my part. Hmm. Well, Siskaze, I'm sure you're not gonna die in one hit. I hope not, anyway. I mean, he... They are only about two levels higher than Suzukaze. Suzukaze, sorry guys. I am... Oh, holy shit! Dodge it, bro. Fuck. Um. Huh. 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 <laughs> uh. Huh. That's. Huh. <laughs> Unexpected, to say the least. I don't want. Oh my god, he's blocked off too. Wow, I can't believe I need to break my own rule about this. Oh boy. She can't run too far. Wow! Alright guys, I... I... I'm sorry. I don't want... I don't want to do this! I don't want to break my own rule, but I'm gonna have to. Here, keep your... Pick your sword up and kill him. Ah, I feel ashamed of this. Oh my god. I mean, personally... Personally, I would not care if Suskaze died because I got Midoriko, so who the hell cares, but... Well, I... I can't let him die. Alright, my bad, guys. I will promise... I promise... Not, not I will promise, but I promise that I will never do that again. And by that, I mean... Using the parent? Good lord! I mean, it would be pretty dumb for Sisukaze to kinda die because of that one dumb rule that I have to... That I have to set up for myself. Like... It's really for his own good. <laughs> ah, man! I feel really crappy about doing that. 
Alright, I'll just think of it as... I have saved myself some time from doing this entire crap again. I think that is the best way about... Best way for me to go about or feel about these things. Anyways. Aw, oh man. Let's send her over here so the mage can come to her and... I guess I can give the kill to... Let's... Yeah. Here we go, guys. <sighs> Can't even stick and follow to my own rules. Wow. Wow. Hopefully you guys are not disappointed by my... Bizarre shenanigans that I just pulled here. Oh my god. I am... So sorry, guys. I will not feel good about this at all. Alright, alright. Come and get me, bros. Come and get me. I will try my best. Oh, hey! More reinforcements! A archer, a. Eh? Let's see. 70% hit rate. Hmm. Ophelia, what about you? Well, you can stand here and support her. I think that'll be good. Yep, chosen by fate. Thunder! Aha, she's pretty good. You're pretty good. <sighs> yep, that was a... That was disappointing in myself. Indeed. Alright, let's try to be happy about stuff again and kill this guy off. Hmm... Yeah, why not Lutz? Let's see... Use a pony. She can use more EXP. Was it Shining Bow? Yeah, it was, the sh it was called Shining Bow, the one that I needed magic to use. Or the bow that is based off of magic. You know, for a guy who's supposed to be really lucky, it, you're not really being all that lucky. Oh, you maxed out your luck already. Wow, look at that. I should probably class change him into something else in order to make it better use of his luck things. Alright, so... Pony, what about you? Zero damage? Zero damage. Although, I should worry about getting kills for Kana first. Yeah, that's good. So, assuming that she doesn't... Assuming that she doesn't kill him off in one go... Well, still... Epony is not going to be able to kill this guy. Nah, that's good. Spin, 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 slash! That kind of looks dangerous to me. It looked like... My Kana almost stabbed herself. Hey! Good status. Way to go out with a bang. Or way to finish with a bang, I mean. Woo! Man, my Kana is so adorable and beautiful. Alright, so you two can... Actually, no, let's try to get Midoriko a kill too, shall we? Also, uh, I'm not sure who I'm going to give the kill of this guy to. But I guess I'll find out soon enough. Stop him from attacking the... The parents here. Uh, you guys should pair up. There's no, like, I'm not really sure if he, if... It is a he, yeah. If he is going to be attacking Eponine or going to be going this way. So, for you, Sir Knight, I shall chomp you down. Chop you down. Or should I? What about you? Let's... How much damage? Seven damage at best, and it's not gonna end well. Alright. Kana, please don't kill this guy off. I mean, you already got your level up. You don't need any more. Actually, I could just use Sophie to kill him. Ye yes? Yeah. Let's try that. Oh, crit? Nope. Hey! Man, that guy looks a lot like... Harold? I don't know. How did you miss that? <laughs> Anyways, good job, Sophie. 
Yeah. Well, those are the important stats. Magic defense, defense, and strength. I am down with that. Oh, right, right, less defense. Okay, what about now? Two damage. Actually, that's that just made it really half-assed for me. If Kano attacks him now, he's gonna die. He's gonna die for sure. All right, let's try going for a dragon stone. And please don't kill him, Kana. I I love you, but you don't have to dragon force or anything here. Please don't be dragon forcing. Please don't be dragon. No, Kana, why? Ah, uh, that's a whole waste of EXP. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, I could have actually done something else here. Ah, that was so dumb. All right, it's fine. I mean. <laughs> that was unfortunate as all hell. Alright, they're here with me. Now let's try to give the kill to Midoriko if I can, but I don't really see that happening right now. Oh, wait. She's gonna be good. Yes. Oh, Kana. I should not have gave that Hoshiro skill to you. <laughs> Oh man, ruining someone else's chance to level up. I guess she just she just, she just wants all the love for herself because she's a daddy's girl, which I am fine with. All right, so for Dredge over here, Judge Dredge, I am gonna just use Lutz to kill her because well, why the hell not? Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba, ba -ba -ba. What the? Oh, that's new. All right. Well, time for Kana to steal kills again, or just let Eponine kill everyone. I mean, I she has a really good magic defense, so I don't think they're gonna be able to kill her off too easily. Anyway, okay, let's give it a shot. And I'm right behind you. Don't worry. So, you can go this way, you can be over here, start slashing at her. Actually, I don't like how lucky you are, and I don't want you to be critting by, like, out of nowhere, so... Let's give that a halt for now, shall we? Okay. Come get me, fools! Alright, 9 damage. Not too bad. Ugh! Dick. Good stuff, good stuff. Now, for the other magic users, how much damage is opponent going to take? Maybe zero? Yep. So I just need to worry about this guy, and there we go. She... I mean, even if she misses once, she should be okay, which she shouldn't, and good job! Nice use of Astro. Oh -ha! Yep, he's already dead. Come on, strength up. Hell yeah! Ooh, good status! I like that, opponent. Good job. You are the MVP. Kana was a little too crazy about <laughs> killing the generals, so a little iffy on that one, but otherwise she also is the MVP. <laughs> oh man, Kana, way too excited. Alright, so these guys are gonna try to do some damage to Eponine, who, unfortunately for these magicians, is a daughter of... Zero and Camila, who are both really good at defending against magic. Okay, that's not good. Let's just give two kills to opponent again, I guess. Yes, sir. And you know what? Might as well get a use out of her violin. And trigger some more Astras. Ha! Alright, alright, alright! Pointless, but I like it. I kind of want to have an Astra on my melee units so that we can actually see how cool it looks when they go all Berserker on them. That'd be cool. Anyways. Alright. Jump shot! Woo! 360 no scope. Okay, so those are some good EXP. And the one remaining enemy is Draj. You know, I will try to give the kill to Midoriko because of the history that these these two have with each other. Which by that I mean almost none, but 
you know. I mean, she is the one who stole Midoriko's medicine, so it really should be her who kills her off. So, now the only thing we have to do here is just to wait and kill her off. It's really unfortunate that she can't do anything. That's a really cool looking bow, by the way. I am not gonna go easy on you! I thought he was gonna crit, which would have been greater. What bow is this? Wow, she has the silver bow, are you serious? How much damage? Holy shit! I'm worried. So, let's just uh, wait here. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get the kill on Midoriko. If that didn't, if that fails, I'm gonna try it with... Let's, if that fails, I'll be trying it with Ophelia. So, that'll be that. But wow, that's a lot of, you know, stuff. Yeah, put that away. You don't need your sword here. <laughs> okay, Midoriko, you got this. Take back your medicine. Any dialogue? Nope. Unfortunate. Get the hell out, punk! Oh, adorable how she falls over. Heh. <laughs> Asashi no... Uh... She... Oh, okay, so she said... I don't know. She... It's her imperfect, her ultimate loss. Wow, Midoriko! Good stats up. Good stats up. Good stat ups. Good stats up? Jesus. Here we go! Mission beaten, guys. I gotta say, this turned out way better than my trial run, which was also pretty good. Yeah, next time you get your medicine stolen, you tell us. Alright, because the medicine that... Midoriko and Dredge was fighting over was the most insane medicine who which will be going to Kana in like two seconds. Midoriko. I'm sure you guys know what that is. It is that's right people, all stat ups. Every stat up by one insane item, and of course it will be going to the leader of the group, Kana. Of course, of course. Anyways. So, what are they talking about? Something about not being able to forgive myself for... I don't know. <laughs> Anyways! Ah, so what the hell ever, like, whatever happened is that Dying now is. Midoriko is coming with Suzukaze because... You guys might not know this, but Suzukaze is one crazy father. And by that I mean, he loves and cares for his daughter way too much, even more so than I do about my Kana. Which is saying something a lot. Anyways. There we go, Midoriko is on our side. Hooray for no editing, there was a little bit of a hiccup in the between with Kamui almost dying or Suzukaze almost dying, but... Well... I mean... You know... It can't be helped. <laughs> I mean, it could have helped. It could have been helped. I could have reset it, but I didn't want to. I'm sorry, guys. I'm ashamed. I want to punch myself in the face, but... You know what? I will. I hope you guys heard that. That was me punching myself in the face, and it hurts. Anyways. Now that we're here, and Kana's level 20, might as well give her the insanity that is a ascension. I mean, promotion. Not really sure why I keep saying ascension. Yay! Our second promotion, it goes to Kana, and as the leader of the whole entire group, she turns herself into... A Dark Blood. Oh yeah! Look at that! She is more mature, flying that kick-ass cape. Look at those stat-ups. Not so much on the strength-wise, but it does have good magic. So, time to give her magic. Fire! And... Oh, right. She also needs to get that item up. And uh, here we go. Uh, I guess she can use four more... Luck, but... That's unnecessary. Oh, wait, did I not use this on Ophelia? Huh. Well, that's lucky. 
I guess I'll be using it on her when she also promotes. I think she's pretty close to capping her magic, so... Alright. Every stat up by one, here we go. Ah, use it for yourself, Kana. Look at that. 25, 20, 21, 24, everything over her 20s. Dude, she is insanely powerful. Let's get her equipped with Yato Kana. Whoa! Uh, I'm sorry, that was not uh, high-pitched enough. Look at that! Beautiful, beautiful. The only downside is that she cannot use Yatogami, but who the hell cares when I have Yatokana? Alright, alright, alright. So let's see her swing her sword. Here we go! Beautiful. Oh yeah. Yeah! Did you see that air kick and did you see... You know what, I'm a little iffy about Kana being a little bit too revealing with her legs, but she is a leader and she wants to show the world that she can kick ass whatever she's doing, at whatever she's doing, because while this may not be the right thing to say as a daddy, she is both cute and sexy now. Let's go Kana, the ruler of Nor, or soon to be the ruler of Nor. Alright, so that's it guys, I have obtained Midoriko, I guess I should show that first. Yeah, Midoriko right here. Cute, cute. And I got Kana up to a Dark Blood. So, that's great. It was fun, and on the next episode, we will be going for Seagull, Aqua's son. Who I'm sure will be a good friend to all the children. It's been fun, guys. I, It's been your awesome host and father of a awesomer daughter steaming tofu and have a nice day and all right no editing good night guys good night